Welcome to Corvallis, Oregon, where we are coming to you live from the Turax Indoor Facility to cover the Oregon State University Intramural Co-Rec Soccer Tournament. I'm Izzy Taylor and I'm here with Ben Paul. Thanks for joining us. Today we are here for the third day of the Intramural Soccer Tournament and in this match we will see the Soccer Slayers in white play the two goals, two goals one cup who are in black. Ben, can you tell us how these teams have done so far in this tournament? Yeah, so both these teams off to good starts. Two goals, one cup beat the Gunners uh, five to two. So two goals off to a good start. In addition, the Soccer Slayers beat the Turf Titans also by a score of five to two on Friday, March third. So both these teams, both two goals and Soccer Slayers, look to add their second wins and stay hot. Yeah, and the Soccer Slayers team captain is Nathan, and the <coughs> two goals captain is Zaid. It's going to be a great game and interesting to see these players take the field today. Ben, what are some of the differences between playing indoors compared to playing outdoors? You know, uh, back when I was playing soccer, I mostly w was outdoors in a variety of conditions, whether it was nice and sunny, whether it was windy and rainy, which obviously you'd prefer the former in that ca case, especially in a cold day to day like like this in Corvallis, you'd much rather be inside, don't have to deal with a slippery turf or anything of that nature. So I do think that it's fortunate for everyone. This is an indoor game. Don't have to worry about the complications of the weather quite as much. But I think that this is going to be a great setting for today. Yes, and here at the OSU, at OSU Intramural Soccer, we have a slightly different setup compared to traditional soccer games. We see only seven players on the field, including a goalie competing in a much smaller area. Ben, how does this change the game plan? Well, I think anytime you have a condensed pitch, it's it's going to be a lot harder to get that possession. You know, you see it in prof professional games or just any normal game, uh, where or a standardized game, I should say, where you're going to have a lot more room to work out wide, kind of play possession. But we've seen that pressure comes very quickly with this small pitch. So expect to see a lot more offense than you would in a more traditional st uh, style soccer game. It's going to be tougher to play possession, but both these teams are going to be trying to work it up and get a lot of shots off. Yes, and it looks like we're about to get underway here. And it looks like two goals. We'll start with the ball. Two right goals away. in black. The soccer slayers are in white, and we are underway with two goals taking possession right there. An errant pass. That one's going to go out for a throw. Pretty good throw down the line there. No one's able to take possession. Now here comes two goals, trying to center it in. Soccer Slayer is able to intercept it, and now it's going to be coming towards the 15-yard box. It's going to trickle out for a Soccer Slayer's goal kick. Yeah, that was a fast start to this game. We didn't see either of these two teams warming up very much before the game, but it was in interesting to see them just take the court straight away. It's a away. swing and a miss right there, and they're going to... I, I can't tell if they're calling a foul or – okay, no, I thought they might have been calling a foul there or not, and it's going to be ultimately <laughs> a goal kick. Izzy and I are both a little confused about that Yeah, one. it looks like they both just fell over out of nowhere, and the ball went flying past them. Ooh. That's a strong header right there. See if it leads to possession. Here come the soccer slayers trying to come down the pitch, and that's taken away by a player on two goals. Going to try and play it out wide. Now a cross might be coming in in a moment here. They're building up. Big kick by the Soccer Slayers captain there. His name is Nathan, and we got a chance to talk with him before the game. This is their first year for the Soccer, play the soccer Slayers in this tournament, and a the team is actually made up all of freshmen, and they all a lot of them are from Hawaii, and they met each other at school here, so it's really cool to see them come together to compete today. And the Slayers are going to try and build it up. She's going to pass down to the... 10 yard line and finally possession is lost slayers keep it momentarily now here come two goals trying to build it up they've got some space out wide now a cross might be coming in slayers defend it well though forcing them to retreat they play a deep ball back in their own territory and now here comes come the soccer slayers the other way that's going to go out for a throw mm -hmm. to uh, 16 minute halves a full 32 minute game and we mentioned that the Soccer Slayers might be having to play back-to-back. -back. Yeah, so we will also be covering the Soccer Slayers next game, which will be right after this. They'll be taking on Mandem FC. So you're going to be playing over an hour of soccer. There's a strong shot. It's a good save right there. Not able to keep it in play, and that's going to be our first corner of the game.
little bit of con confusion leading up to it. Yeah. Going out wide for the corner here. It's going to be interesting if, to see if he wants to make a big kick to see if one of his teammates can get it in with a header. See if anyone can get on the end of it. There's in nearly a handball. Can the can two goals possess? There's a nice little one-two action there. It's a oh, pretty good it. standing tackle. He wanted a foul. Doesn't get it. It's a great tackle. Now here come the Slayers. Going to have a ball in, and that's behind the goal out for a goal kick. So a lot of energy running up and down, you know. I'd be winded pretty quickly out here. Yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, we see two goals player. He's out there wearing blue shorts. He just ran from one side of the field and sprinted all the way down to the other side to try and take a shot at goal. So there's a few players here doing quite a lot of running around. Especially for the Slayers. We'll see how that's going to end up impacting them, especially in the second game. Possession lost right there, but... Two goals, able to keep possession. He's carried a long way now. Little one-two chance, and the keeper does eventually grab it. So Soccer Slayer is now on the attack. Yeah, that was a quick play out there, too. Not much time to reset. He's got a cone taken out, by the way. These cones are intended to mark the keeper box, the 18-yard box, which we do not. It's not actually 18 yards, more like 10 yards here. Mm -hmm. But that's what those cones indicate. To try and play it out wide, an errant ball. This one's going to be intercepted by the soccer slayer. Is going to have a ball in that one's uh, miss hit and out for a goal kick. Yeah. It's interesting to see a lot of these players already taking really big kicks on <coughs> this field. You know, it's like when they are taking these big kicks, they're almost traveling the entire distance of the field. And it's been really interesting to see a lot of goalies roll out the ball. So here comes two goals. Going to play it short, looking to build up from the back. Pretty good run here. Little one-two action, and that is going to be kept in play by two goals across the face of goal. It's intercepted by the Slayers. Uh, here they come. He might try and get a shot off, switching to his right foot, and now he's going to drop back to a line of defense, and that one's going to go over the goal. Another goal kick for two goals. So no scoring early on, which is a little interesting considering both of these sides put up five goals in their opening match. Some of the earlier games we've seen today have seen as many as 12 goals in one game. So, so far it looks like a heavy defensive matchup between two good teams. Yeah, both teams have been doing really well defensively. That looked almost like a handball there, but... And a miss hit by the keeper. <laughs> His teammates aren't happy with him there. <laughs> trying to tell him that he should not have errantly hit that ball because it's a two goals throw in. A lot of energy so far and as I uh, suspected might have been the case as we have some substitutions coming in here. A lot of a lot of clustering in the middle. A lot, lot of shots and passes hitting off and deflecting other players. That's what's going to happen on a condensed pitch like this. Yeah, but what do you think two goals has to do here to make a move? You know, I like what I'm seeing with some combinations of them. I think they just got it. You know, it's more just the s Slayers are playing good defense, and I think we're going to see that both ways. Here's a shot towards the goal. Keeper able to grab that one. He's going with no gloves, which is a bit of an interesting move for a goalkeeper. I'm playing keeper myself for a little while. I can tell you it hurts a lot more when we don't have gloves on, but that's how he's rolling today. Yeah, it seems like it. A little bit of possession. Anytime you try to play possession, you always have to watch out on this condensed pitch of teams pressuring. There's a lot of man-on situations in this on this, in this field, in this, set, in this setting. Pretty good header, but the Slayers are going to take possession. Ooh, kept it in the sideline there, really well control. Right to the keeper. Good job getting down there. Good technique, drop into his knees, and he's going to reclaim it and roll it out wide. And uh, hits off of a cone. Left-footed player is going to give it off. A lot of nice one-two touch passing. That one goes just wide. Two goals nearly broke through. Out for a goal kick. Yeah, that was a really good attempt there by two goals. I'd like to see them take a few more attempts, I think. So far, it does seem like two goals has been slightly more on the attack. They're going to play this goal kick really short, and she's made a good move to get around the first defender. And they're going to play it. Out wide, going to have one in. Two goals able to come away with it. Oh, it's a great through ball. Real opportunity here. Keeper's able to make a stop. 
And quick play out <laughs> that from that goalkeeper. He does not mess around. You know, wasn't a very powerful shot. I was expecting a little more there. There's a ball in, chested down. That couldn't have felt good. No. But she's able to get possession for her team, and now she's on the attack. Gets it off to another player for the Soccer Slayers. Slayers trying to move down. They keep trying to take it to the corner. But Ooh. great defense there. It's a great standing tackle. No slide tackling is allowed, but it's a great standing tackle. Yeah, it seems like these teams are really struggling to create some space. Getting physical down near the oh, side, and that's, that's a foul fun. called. Two goals does not like the call. Mm. It's a pretty physical game so far, Izzy. It is, and it is interesting to see in this tournament they are also grading based on sportsmanship, and that does, I believe that does impact tomorrow's matchup as well. And there have been some teams that have received some pretty bad Pretty bad marks on t in terms of sportsmanship. So, good save right there. Another substitution here. A lot of communication here on the field by two goals. They want to be setting their lineup. Interesting to see the positioning. There's a header and just, just over the bar. Oh, great opportunity off the corner kick. Good ball in. Yeah, both of these teams have done really well defensively today. It doesn't seem like either one can break through each team's defense. And their goalkeepers in general have been doing a great job. Interesting to see where everyone's playing position-wise on a small field like this. Lot clustered towards the middle, but they always have at least a couple wingers out wide. Now Soccer Slayer is going to take this one over at the mid midfield area. Two goals quickly wins it back. So is he not a lot of possession by their team, obviously, on a small field like this, you know, MLS games and everything. You see one team have the ball for 20, 30 seconds at a time. You hardly have a lot of possession here for more than a few seconds. Yeah. And they aren't playing uh, offside in this in this tournament. Do you, how do you think that impacts the game plan? As well, well, I mean, obviously, offensively, that's, that's going to help a lot, not having to worry about the positioning. But I think on a small pitch like this, that's the right call. Not to play offside. So in case you were looking for that, you don't need to. There's no offsides in this tournament. No score so far. And that's a great turnaround. He's carried the ball a long way now. He's trying to try to get it across the face of goal. Just didn't have the angle. And it's a goal kick. Yeah, two cups just couldn't keep it in there. Got the soccer slayers hoping to move their way down the court here. One thing there's uh, with a scoreless game right now, long way to go, obviously. But I'm just saying if the game is tied, at the end of the full 32 minutes, we go to a penalty shootout. There's a ball in, and it's outed by the defensive back line of two goals. Going to drop around their own 18-yard box here. Plenty of space. They find a good ball in the middle. He's going to try to take it to his left foot, get a shot off here. It's deflected, and I think that's going to go out for a corner kick. Good chance there, is he? And uh, pardon me, that's a goal kick. Yeah, that was really good. It's really interesting to see how... Uh, two Cups has been so much more aggressive. It seems like uh, the Soccer Slayers are really struggling when they get in that box uh, to, to shoot a goal. They definitely are more on the front foot, are two goals. Soccer Slayers have had some chances of their own, though. We saw that header a minute ago. It went just over the bar. It was a really nice ball in off of the corner, and we do see a little bit of possession here from two goals. Man, i got to say, both these teams, as there's a great one-two there, and he opens the scoring. One, two touch in the box, two goals leads, one to nil. Yeah, that was a great goal there. The soccer slayers, they really had that goal guarded as well with a few defenders. But that two cups player was able to mingle his way through and get a good strike. So now two goals, six goals for just two allowed so far in this tournament. Going to have a ambitious go there from beyond half field midfield and it's going to go out for a goal kick. Yeah, we've seen a lot of big kicks already today here, Ben. <coughs> what do you think in terms of tactic? I'm surprised that they're not rolling the ball and dribbling a little bit more. Do you think that has something to do with not being able to create space? I think a lot of it does, Izzy. I think you, s you said that. You make a really good point there. Is there's an opportunity <laughs> from... Oh. Soccer Slayers is, uh, was a little off balance, able to get a bit of an awkward strike, did force the keeper to make a dive.
back to what you were saying is I do absolutely think that that's, p that's playing a huge part in not being able to get a lot of space on a pitch like this. And 2v1 down in the corner is going to have a cross oh. in, and I think that – I don't mean to be referee here, but I think that should be a corner kick. Ref might not have had mm. a great uh, look at that, and I think this is going to be a goal kick. Only two referees out there, and they do not have the same angle that I did on that one. Chesting it down, and this is a physical – Collision right there. Soccer Slayer is trying to keep that. Two goals, able to maintain possession. We have a foul called here. Yeah, that one was pretty intense. It's just, it's just been so hard for these guys. You know, there's just so many people in such a small area. To in order to be offen work offensively and defensively, it does require them to be somewhat physical. Kind um, of awkward clearance right there, and it's going to allow two goals to take possession, and that's going to go off of a soccer slayer for two goals throwing. It's going to do a little drop throw quickly. It's going to unintentionally make its way back to the person who threw it in. There's a cross in, a header opportunity. Now it's going to be tracked down. She's got a little bit of space, has an opportunity towards the goal. It's a good deflection by a soccer slayer defender. Going to be a corner kick. Yeah, that was great defense there, using his body to defend the ball. He got right in between the goal and that striker. So this is going to be the first corner kick of the game for two goals. They lead 1-0, trying to add on that. It's a pretty good ball in. Um, player in the middle just couldn't get a good angle, and he heads it straight up into the air and into the arms of Soccer Slayer's keeper. A lot of pressure being applied here from two goals. Man, Slayers just can't get any breathing room. She's going to turn and have a go, and it's going to be another corner this time from the opposite end. Yeah, it's been really interesting to see a lot of the 1v1 action that we've had has been both with girls on girls and guys on guys here, which has been really interesting. We haven't seen too much, well, not surprisingly, we haven't seen too much aggression with the with uh, two di two different genders on each side but could change right here and they uh, right as you say that that's a good <laughs> challenge go. that is a good challenge oh. what on earth that was a bit of a miss throw to say the least <laughs> 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 might have been on purpose is able to uh, take it again and it's going to go out <laughs> for a goal kick oh you know just have to mention uh a standardized game of soccer, you don't get two opportunities at a throw, and I guess here in this tournament we're letting that go. Yeah, I was going to say, that um, <laughs> that didn't look quite normal. Second throw in looked good. Yeah. Going to try and play it down, and he just can't track that down. It's going to be a soccer slayer throw. 16-minute halves. I forgot to set my timer, but I think we're probably coming to close to the end. That's got to be a – no, no, no foul called. They're going to say good challenge. Referee says you were not fouled. Yeah. Absolutely a lot of physicality. And just we were talking, that will be the halftime break. Yeah, well, that was a super interesting halftime that we had there. You know, very strong defensively, very a very tight half. Two goals coming out with one goal over the Soccer Slayers. How, what did you think of that first half? You know, I, I think it's a very, I think it's a physical game. I think, you know, you can tell the players are winded, but we got another half coming up. One nil, two goals lead the Soccer Slayers. At the break, we are going to be right back for the start of the second half in a few minutes here. You are listening to Soccer on KPVR TV.
Welcome back to the Oregon State University Intramural Correct Circuit Tournament. A very interesting first half that we just had here. The two, well, two goals and one cup lead the Soccer Slayers with one goal. Ben, what did you see? So, yeah, one nil, two, two goals as we're about ready to get underway here in the second half. And I think now that two goals does have that slight advantage, I wonder, I mean, I think they're going to keep the pressure on, but you have to think here, especially as it gets down to the final minutes, if they would change up. Uh, their strategy a little bit and focus a little more defensively because so far a lot of both teams have had some shots. You know, we expected this in an enclosed pitch. It's going to be an offensive game. I, if you're the Slayers on the other hand, you're just looking for that one moment to try and tie this up because they've shown a lot of good offensive scheme. Yeah, that's definitely for sure. And it was definitely a physical first half. Do you think <coughs> that we're going to see that increase? As the It'll only increase in the second half. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yes, and so now... The Soccer Slayers going into this second half. They keep in mind they still have another game right after this. So and their keeper got some gloves. I was talking about that oh. in the <laughs> first half. I think someone's like, "Hey man, you need gloves on the field goal up," and that one is just wide, as that one was sent into the stratosphere. Yeah, that one was sent real high. We will be keeping time in this half. I forgot to do that in the first half, so we'll be updating you, especially now that it's the second half in a 1-0 game. Trying to play a through ball here, and that's going to go out again for, was well, that touch off a Slayer? No, that is going to be a goal kick. one nothing, two goals over the Soccer Slayers. Pardon me, that's going to be a corner kick. Right in front of us here. 30 seconds about gone in the second half. There's a good corner in across the face of goal. Just nobody could get on the end of it. It's going to be a throw. That's a great corner. Yeah, that was a really powerful kick there. And then two goals player. It's brought down, controlled by two goals. She's going to try and switch to her right foot. Oh, switches to the left. Now he's going to have a shot, and it is 2-0, two, two goals. Two, two goals for two goals. Two goals for two goals, I was about to say. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Izzy. I, I tell you what, their, their names do make – there are some very – interesting names that have been thought of uh, in this soccer tournament. Um, uh, lots of creativity. Certainly a which lot. Which is great to see. Of creativity. <laughs> We've got the Turf Titans for the name. we got the Gunners. A lot of good soccer team names out there. Now two goals. Going to try to bring it up from the back. Going to poke that one out wide. She's doing a good job to keep possession here. Oh, nice little turnaround there. That's a Diego Maradona type move. Now he's going to have a shot to flex oh. in, and it's 3-0 to two goals, just like that inside of two minutes in the second half. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. Wow, they have just come out firing in the second half. Two goals. Now eight goals to just two allowed so far in this tournament. They've looked very sharp, and that's a tack tackle in the midfield. It could get worse here. Oh, it's a good little fake. Goes through the fa face of goal. Going to take out a cone. I'm sure that will be brought back upright. Yeah, that's that's going to be a goal kick. Well, the soccer slayers really need to have a little bit more of a comeback here. You know, they've really got to start getting the ball up into their area of the court and actually take some shots as well. Otherwise, they're going to run out of time. Going to run out of time, and right now the momentum is all shifted. Definitely just relentless pursuit from two goals. Even with this 3-0 lead, they're pressuring in the back. Just having a hard time getting out of their own 18-yard box are the soccer slayers, but they do move it up here. That's a good tackle. Now here comes two goals. Now we've got a turnover here. Deflected off captain for the Soccer Slayers, Nathan. It's a pretty good tackle away there from the Slayers. Towards the sideline, going to try and bring it up. Has to try and beat a defender. It's going to go out of play. Goal kick for two goals. Doesn't quite agree with the call. He was trying to talk to the official there. It's not yeah. going to change the result, I'll say that. Did not look too happy with that call, that's for sure. They really need something to go their way here, the Soccer Slayers. As we have 3 minutes 30 seconds gone in this second half. And Slayer is going to try and play it up from the back. They just need to get a little more room in attacking. Oh and that's uh, Pardon me, now the Soccer Slayers... Take it after two goals, turns it over. Yeah. 
foul in the corner there, I believe. Or is she going to say this is a throw in for the Soccer Slayers? Yeah, this is a really good opportunity here for the Soccer Slayers. Corner, pardon me, I believe. Seems to have been some confusion there. <laughs> no, 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 we don't and know. This is a fr this is a free kick. This is oh, a okay. direct free kick. So we had a foul called. Now she's going to try and play one in. Has a shot towards the goal. Not uh, not close. Goal kick. I, I I don't mind the attempt there though. Going for the goal there. If you have an opportunity, take it. I mean, they've got to make the most of all these opportunities here now. Um, and we've seen some real skill from this guy on two goals. He's making a lot of defenders miss, just very hard to dispossess him. It's a good cross. She brings it down very well. Left-footed shot. Oh. Keeper made a pretty good oh. save, and he gets back on it. Wonderful. I don't know what's called here. Is there that was a great save from that, that goalie and a great strike from uh, that two goals player, but... What's called here? I'm I'm a little confused. It's it didn't look like a and they're gonna give a free kick, kick and, and it's a goal. So they're calling a foul on the keeper there. I guess we didn't have a great look at it, but it is four nothing to two goals. Yeah, and two goals did not mess around there at all. They just went straight into it. They wanted to catch the soccer slayers off guard, and they definitely did. They certainly, I, I, it looked like a clean challenge from the keeper trying to get back to it after making that initial save, but it ended up being a free kick, not a penalty kick, but free kick very close to goal. Yeah, must have been just outside of the box. So now, in a 4 0 deficit, things not going well for the soccer slayers. It's going to have a shot towards the goal here. No problem for the keeper. And he rolls it out quickly in the back. Well, two goals has scored three goals in the past six minutes. Good. Could get a fifth right here. Ball into the area. That's a great stop by the keeper. Put his body on the line there, and it paid off. And now his team might have a chance the other way, but it's dispossessed in the back by two goals. Slayers pinned down in the corner right here. Yeah, up in the top half of the screen, we can see a 1v1 action. Not very intensive 1v1 no, action. No, they're looking like they're having a great time. They're having a little bit of a laugh. I think he's just making them try and make him get around. He does get a ball in, no problem for, well, actually, it's going to go all the way through. Should be a throw for the Slayers, and it is. Offensive type throw, going to come back to one of the Slayers players. Can she get a shot off? It's blocked, and it's going to go out for a corner, we'll I believe. Corner. That was a great defense there. And we've seen rock solid defense from two goals. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how anyone got anything in the back of the net past them the first game they played because right now that they got a great keeper. They just have a very locked-in defense. They just look like a really solid team in this tournament. Yeah, something to keep in mind was I got a chance to speak with the Soccer Slayers captain. Oh no, look at this. The keeper's taking it out himself. He's going to have a go, and it's stopped oh. by the other keeper. Now he's got to get all the way back. He's going to oh, try and throw it all the way down, head her towards the goal. No good, and it's finally cleared away. Wow. That was incredible. We can just see two goals here just trying to have some fun with it, you know? They're just trying to. Hey, he saw that opening, and he had a good look. Did. It was a good stop by the other keeper. Oh, yeah. Out in the back, eight minutes gone in the second half. That's going to be a goal kick for two goals. So, yeah, Nathan was telling me the Soccer Slayers captain, he was telling me that their two best players are out of the game today. So that may have some relation to how this game is panning out so far. Can't help but wonder if that might be a little bit of the case. Dispossession and the Soccer Slayer is going to take it back in their own defensive half right now. Ball played, almost intercepted. Soccer Slayers do maintain possession. Left-footed strike. Don't have, didn't have a lot of power on it. The Slayers are going to keep possession of it, though, and they might want to have a cross in here. 
Two goals taken away. Right back by the Slayers. He couldn't get around that last line of defense. Oh, good defending there. This is out of play. Corner kick for two goals. Now this two goals play had a great corner kick last time. She's going to play this one short. Yeah. It's a good setup right there. Queuing up for another shot attempt, and it's saved by the keeper. Pretty good save there. Good Fast hands. play. Trying to move their way back up the court. Soccer Slayers are trying to stay in contention here. And They're just giving out. away too many goal kicks, is he? Yes. Ten minutes almost gone in the second half, and it is four to nil. They got two players bunched up. They're going to try and play it out wide. They do. Switches to his right. Plays it in the middle. Nice one-two right back to him on the sideline. See if he can have a cross in now. Going to try and play that one back. That one might have backfired. But two goals does keep possession once again. Left-footed strike. Going to go wide and will give the soccer slayers a goal kick. So got to uh, credit both teams here. Slayers, they're down 4-0. It doesn't seem to be affecting their energy at all. They're, they're keeping the pace. They're still flying around everywhere. Yeah, what do you want to see, Ben, from the soccer slayers here to really make the most of these last You know, I'd minutes? like to see just try and get it up and see bring some players up. Defensively, yes, you want to you keep some players in the back. But overall, you want to risk it a little bit because you're down four goals. So I'd like to see just a little more offensive mindset and did he just set a screen he did not sure you can do that in soccer but I just saw him sent a basketball style screen so having some good laughs out here <laughs> keep coming in here and it's gone out wide a little bit too powerful for any of his teammates to stop it there man this keeper is getting to work at it and I'll say he's chasing the ball <laughs> around everywhere I think he's enjoying it I, I mean we saw him run up we saw him run up the field earlier today. I wonder if we'll see that again. That would have certainly been something you don't see every day, a goalkeeper scoring. I heard a whistle. Not sure what that was for. I think there's some confusion on the field as well. So we have just about 12 minutes gone in the second half. So two goals just has to hang on for a few more minutes. They're playing possession quite well. They look like they're going to try and get another goal. Plays it back, drop. They've got a little bit of offensive pressure on. They are being a little more careful. They know they've got a four-goal lead. And why not play a little bit of keep away? One-two attempt is going to be stopped. Oh, nice little move there behind his heel to get by. We've seen some real ball handling skills. Yeah, it looks like they're trying team. to wind down the clock here. Hard to blame them. Yeah. They're just trying to keep Man, they really the are. <laughs> this is by far the most possession we have seen in this game. And the keeper is coming out again. He is going to put it out wide now. Wide, uh, there's nobody there, is there? No. Well, Maybe a strategy. That might have been a sportsmanship thing, honestly, just yeah. to give the Slayers the ball back because they've been possessing for so long. It's a good little one-two. Well, there's no going to be no return, but she is going to try and find somebody drop. He's able to make it there, but he stops it. But now the Slayers have a pretty good opportunity here. He's hustling all the way back. Shot towards the goal, oh. and it's in. Slayers on the board. 13 minutes gone in the that second half. Four to one. That was a great goal there. You could just see the, the two goals were just trying to run down the clock. Weren't trying to do too much, and then the soccer slayers saw an opportunity and made the most of it. Yeah, and uh, especially when the guy who lost the ball was coming back so hard in pursuit. I can't, can't believe he got that good of a shot off. He did. It's in the back of the net. So now I wonder if the if two goals will get a little bit rattled here as the slayers will try and keep a little bit of pace on. Shot towards the goal. Just <laughs> glances wide. Oh, it was a pretty shot. That was a great kick. This is the this is the attack we've been looking for in this second half from the Soccer Slayers. Comes a little bit late as we've got 14 minutes gone now, and that's a good opportunity. She just couldn't quite get on the other end of that ball in. Going to be a goal kick for the Soccer Slayers.
four to one. Two goals looking to improve to 2-0. and oh. The Soccer Slayers won their first game, so if this result holds, they will drop to 1-1. One and one. And those records will impact the bracket tournament that will happen tomorrow. So even though it's not a make-or-break situation, they do want to win this game to set themselves up the best for that tournament. And uh, they may be in again here, two goals. Shot towards the goal. It's a pretty good stop. He almost let it go under his legs, but he is able to retrieve it. Long throw, brought down by two goals. Oh, oh. man. Oh, he just did, she threw he did him a cartwheel off there. And they went a corner, so their time-wasting strategy doing, working very well. As I started the clock about 30 seconds late, so by the way, 15 minutes going in the second half. What are we going to see here? Are we going to see a big play? There's a ball in and it's headed oh. away. Huge header. Keeper might have to come out this one. The soccer slayer is trying to get around the other end of it. The keeper does well to clear that one away and they might have an opportunity now. To try and that was a play great it save. back and it's going to be a throw for two goals. Just about 30 seconds left here. Four to one, two goals leading soccer slayers. They've looked good in this match, Izzy. Am two I goals. Yes, they have looked really good. I mean, they've 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 come out in the second half just so strong. It's it's been two completely different halves. And right as we say that, they almost get another one there. That one just wide. Yeah, they really took control in that first part of this second half and came out. They had three goals in f about five minutes, um, which has just completely set them ahead in this game. There is the full time whistle. So very aggressive performance from two goals. Two goals defeat. Soccer Slayers by a final score of four to one, they improve to two and zero. Oh. Hard fought game there. Yeah, that was really that was a really hard fought game. We like I just said, we had two completely different halves. The first half, we really saw both teams working very well defensively and offensively. But in that second half, it was two goals that was able to come out and successfully make the most of the beginning of that second half. I think they caught the Soccer Slayers a bit by surprise. Yeah, and speaking of the Soccer Slayers, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out here in the second game because they're not going to have a lot of – well, we'll see how much time there is in between in between games, but they're, they got to play Mandem FC coming up here. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see. You know, they've just played a full soccer game against a team and lost. So it's going to be really interesting to see their momentum and their energy throughout this second game and see if they can come back with a win. As we can see – Teams are just meeting up by the sideline, and the and Mandem FC is warming up currently on the field. It's going to be a quick turnover here. So while there is a bit of a turnover, we've got to give Soccer Slayers time to rest and Mandem time to warm up. We are going to go to a break. Final score, uh, two goals, one, soccer four, Soccer Slayers, one, two goals, improves. Two, two and oh, Soccer Slayers drop to one and one, and they'll be back in action here momentarily. I'm Ben Paul alongside Izzy Taylor. We will be back. Pretty soon. Don't go anywhere.
welcome back to the Truex Indoor Facility where we are covering our second game of the day at the Oregon State University Intramural Co-Rex Soccer Tournament. In this matchup, we will see the Soccer Slayers returning to the court in white, facing off against Man Mandem FC in black. So tell me a little bit about the team name Mandem. Did they just score a goal? Um, I do not really understand. No, I don't th that, that was unofficial, it looks like. It looks like it was very <laughs> unofficial. Um, so, Mandem, I just got a chance to chat with their captain earlier, and he his name is Murphy, and he I was asking <coughs> him, where did this name Mandem come from? And he told me that it actually means the boys in England, and that's where they got it. And so I said, well, what about the girls on the team? Are they the boys? And he said, yes, we're all the boys. It's one big family. So we'll see if they, the f it's the first time the family's had a full team though. Yes, it is. It's the first time they said from the second half, they've lost their first two games, but in the second half of their second game was the first time they had a full seven players. Well, it certainly helps when you have as many people on the field as your opponent does. So we'll see how Mandem's able to do that. That's gonna be an interception from Soccer Slayers. We'll try and play it up now. The Slayers cross, and there's a shot easily handled by the keeper. Back to the keeper. Don't want to mess around too much here, and he just gave it right to the opponent, whose shot is wide. Not sure what the keeper was doing there. Is it? Yeah, keeper is um, wearing a white shirt, which is making it slightly confusing to um, see, but it does make sense. Um, the keeper does have to wear a different colored shirt to the rest of his team. Um, My question is, what if you see the keeper bring it out like he did last game, like the one did last game, but he's wearing the same color shirt as the other team? Oh my gosh, well... One player goes We are him. watching intramural soccer. <laughs> and here's a great opportunity here. And one goal. nil Slayers. <laughs> They're excited. Somersault celebration. That is a great reaction. Well, they've come out firing. They've just lost to two cups in that first game, four to one, and they've already got a goal today, so I'm sure they're ecstatic. Meanwhile, for Mandem, the struggles continue. <laughs> <laughs> As they're gonna try and poke that away. Here's a chase down into the corner. Soccer Slayer is gonna take possession there. Minute 30 gone, and it's already one nil to the Soccer Slayers. Oh, nice little move to the outside here. She's carried the ball a long way. Can she keep it in? No, she cannot. The ref says that is out, and that is a throw-in. Yeah, just out there. She did a good job of bringing it down the line, but unfortunately couldn't hang on to control. Going to have another throw for Mandem FC. Mandem loses possession. Left-footed shot right into the hands of the keeper. Good hands there and see if he can remember which team he's on this time. Yeah. Looks like well he's, he's able to. He's just uh, He just decided to hand that ball off to his teammate and then working up and running it up the floor. Might have a little bit of space for a shot here. Great saved strike. easily. That was in a great strike, but did get saved easily. It's interesting to see, they've already seen some. And I'm not sure if that would have counted or not, but he almost threw it into the other team's net. Yes, we've seen very very good offense on both sides of this of this game already. <coughs> Teams taking shots and goalies doing a really good job to hang on to the ball. So now it's going to be a throw for the Soccer Slayers. Going to try and make an offensive throw here. They will keep possession. They're in the back here. Now, if I'm if you're Manum, I want to see them pressing a little bit. You're down a goal. And if they're in the back, take advantage of that. And they do just that. They step up there. Yeah, that was a really good turn over there. He's going to try to have a ball in just a little bit too tall. They are able to keep it in play, though. That was really good control over there. Absolutely. There's a centering in. She's going to have a look. The shot goes awry. And it's going to be a throw for um, Soccer Slayers. She's going to. Give the throw up to another player. He's trying to fake it. <laughs> he's really giving it a fake. <laughs> and he, he's, la he's got a big smile on his face. He knows it's funny. Yeah, and that's the captain, Nathan. And he told me before the game that he just they just wanted to have fun, and that's why they're playing this tournament. And it looks like they're, just, they're doing just that. And that's going to 
be a good kick opportunity there, but it's going to set up Mandum. Here's a shot towards the goal, and they have equalized. Oh, a hard strike. Keeper couldn't keep it out. It's 1-1. One, one. What a great kick. 4-15 gone in the first half. Mandum 1, Soccer Slayers 1. And here we go. Pretty good cut back right there, and that's going to be taken away in the Ooh. midfield area. Soccer Slayers player took a hard hit there. It's going to be a goal kick for Mandum FC. Five minutes gone. This happened. I was just about to ask if we were going to see any subs. Here's our first substitution of the game. Yeah, here we go. Wearing a purple shirt. <laughs> 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 Not everything is conventional here in intramural soccer. As in the goalie having the same <laughs> shirt, color jersey as the other team. Yeah, well, in our first game, we were actually meant to cover a completely different game. But that <laughs> did result in one team not showing up. So they were able to move the game playing on Turex 1 to Turex 2 so we could broadcast our game at least. Gotta expect the unexpected here in IM circumstances and pretty good control here in the back from Mandem who's looking a lot better after than compared to their first couple of minutes. He's kept the ball for quite a while now and he tries to play it across and uh, it was a pass behind his intended recipient. It's going to be a throw-in for Soccer Slayers. Got some physicality <laughs> going right here. He's trying to nudge him off the ball. He's able to turn, have to cross in. Keeper deflects it. Follow up, no good. Cleared away for now. Goal kick. Yeah, that was a really good play there. The goalie's doing a really good job. The Mandem. The Mandem goalie's doing a great job. Just wish he could change his shirt color. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> it is a bit confusing. Definitely would not fly in a more uh, conventional game of soccer. That's a turnover near the midfield. He's trying to win it back. Pretty physical play. No foul called, and Mandem keeps possession. He's taken on three players here at once. Ooh. That's got to be something right there, and no foul called. Not a lot of fouls called in this game so far. No, there hasn't been Ben. We did see quite a few in that first game, but... I'm going to make one defender miss, gets dispossessed. Here's a good chance for Mandem. Shot towards the goal, just wide. Yeah, that well done. That one's got to hurt. That was a really good opportunity there. Made the most of it. Just goes a little bit wide. Once again, the keeper started the game with no gloves, but has now found a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Running theme here on the soccer slayers. Now the Slayer's going to look to turn man on here. Towards the end line, going to go through and outed by Mandem FC. Seven and a half gone. And, uh, and remember, two 16-minute halves combining for, of course, a 32-minute game. 1-1 one, one between Mandem and the Soccer Slayers. Yeah, and the goalie isn't actually taking this kick. We have Captain Nathan. Oh, he's well going to hand it off to the gonna goalie. He's going to tap it off to his keeper, who's now going to try and play it up. Good physical push from behind from a Mandem defender. And now she's going to keep possession, turns, and now she might oh. be dispossessed. She is momentarily. Mandem almost wins it back, and now it's just a cluster. She was winding up there to have a left-footed opportunity, but it was a good challenge. And now she's carried the ball a long way for Mandem, oh, taken down from behind. Cool. No foul. No, I think she got the ball there. Mm. Showing good sportsmanship. I do think that was a great tackle. No team has the ball for more than half a second at a time, <laughs> it seems, Izzy. No, they don't. A little bit like tennis, actually. A little bit. That's n not a bad way to put it, actually. Passing it back and forth. She's going to turn to her left foot here. She has some players drop. She does drop it. Now a little bit of dispossession. Mandem is able to stay in possession of it, though. But it's taken away into the midcourt shot just up over the bar. Goal kick. It's so funny how a team can transition from offense to defense within a matter of half a second in a, on a field of this size. It, it really is. I mean, 
And they have cut, so normally, like, there are a lot more players on a regular size soccer field, but you can just only imagine if it was the traditional rules, it would be a lot of people you couldn't on the field. You couldn't fit 22 players onto this field. I don't think The size as we do have substitutions happening right now. One of the cones has become dislodged. <laughs> Gotta think that needs to get fixed. Yeah. Trying to play it into the middle. The keeper is going to grab it again. A little bit of confusion because they're wearing different jerseys. Yes, and a quick play out there. Slayers have an opportunity to turn. Shot towards the goal is deflected by Manley. Up in the top of our screen here now. And that one's gone long and wide. Gonna be a corner for Mandum, though, who ever since the tough opening minute has really responded here. It's a 1-1 game. Two very, seems, evenly matched teams. Yeah, we haven't seen many corners in this game either. Pretty good ball in. Gonna be a goal kick. One by Soccer Slayers. We're looking to bounce back, playing a back-to-back -back game right now. They gotta be feeling some fatigue. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough for them to be pushing through. They do have quite a few substitutions though. They've got they've got enough players on their team to That one that rattles others. some iron. Hard shot. Hitting the top of the goalpost. Frame of the goal saves Mandem FC from going down two one. He's gonna have a hard shot deflected. No, but it still might be on here. Shot oh. just wide. Man, a lot of opportunities here. It's a intense first half. A lot of action. Yeah, a lot of opportunities, and we're hearing men them substitutions on the side here, trying to get their their teammates rounded up. Just tries to Taking make a cut outside. Shot. He's gonna get it. Fall in. That's gotta be a goal. And there and we it go. is. Oh, just absolutely fires it rifling into the back of the net. I don't think any keeper on earth was stopping that. Right on schedule. He's had a good game, and now he gets a goal. He's got a great half. He's all over the pitch, got great ball handling skills, and able to finish it off right there. Could have some substitutions. Yes, we will, we've got a substitution for the Soccer Slayers. They have been making quite a few, which is completely understandable considering of how much soccer they are going to play here this afternoon. <laughs> The more players you can have, the better for them when you're playing back-to-back -back games. And Mandem, after going down 1-0, oh, almost went up 3-1 there. They're up 2-1 right now. Keeper's busy retrieving balls for both teams. <laughs> it's a big part of the position here in IM Soccer, just running down to get it for a goal kick. All right, let's see if the soccer slayers can make a move here. It's going to go to their, the keeper of Mandem. Very quick play, got a man behind. Good communication right now from Mandem FC. Got to say, I'm impressed with the quality here of IM Soccer. Can't always be quite sure what to expect. But everyone knows what they're doing here. Can tell that everyone on this team has played soccer growing up. Yeah, we're seeing some really good technique here. Got some good skill, like that save right there. Oh, he switches his body weight. Able to get a right hand on that, man. Taken away. And he's hard to stop. Down the line, gonna have a cross in. Oh. Swing and a miss, but things might still be on. That's a uh. goal! They tie up this game. 2-2, two -two. went across the face of goal. It was a swing and a miss from the first attempt, but it might have all been for the better for Soccer Slayers. That's for sure. Really good to see this team bounce back. 13-15, gone here in a very entertaining first half of play. Can't wait to see what the second half has to bring. But as of right now, we got some pressure from Manum trying to get back after giving up a goal. It's a good shot from the, s or opportunity from the Slayer. Shot goes wide, gonna be a goal kick for Manum FC. Look at the keeper hustling right there. He knows they that they got some time, they don't wanna waste time. Yeah, <coughs> that's for sure. Gonna play it out of the back. Ooh. It almost slips on the ball there. Able to control. Oh, pulls oh. off a Maradona move. That was <laughs> that was pretty. Trying to do a one-two intercepted. 
And now the Slayers have something going on here. Can he turn? She doesn't let him. Great defending by Mandem. He's looking to add another goal to his resume here in the first half. He's going to have a tough angle, and so he's going to try to take this one near the corner. Ball drop, and now a cross in. Can he bring it down? Good defending right there. And now the Slayers are right back the other Ooh. way. Shot a attempt blocked, and it's just a cluster. Yes. Again, no one has oh. the ball for more than a second at a time. Awkward <laughs> kick there, defending. It's going to be a chance for Mandum. Oh. It's off the post. Still might be on here. Keeper gets to his feet. Pinned down in the corner. Man, does he have some ball handling skills or what? Creates his own shot opportunity. Now he's got to get one. Oh, my goodness. He's going to find. No, he's finally dispossessed. That's <laughs> great defense right there from the Stuckle Slayers. I can't believe he held on to the ball for that long. As Andres, shout out to Andres De Los Santos. He's going to track down the ball for us right here. Thanks, Andres. <laughs> Final seconds here of the first half. Got 15.06 gone. Just about final 50 seconds or so of this half. It's going to be a goal kick right now. you got to think both teams are winded. You could tell. Yeah, they look absolutely exhausted. This has been a very – they've covered this whole field in this game from both, both aspects of it, each sideline. And there's a chested down opportunity. Ball's going to be away. Here comes Mandem. Playing it through the back. See if he can have a go here. Gets it into Splusher, who's very good at ball handling. Can they do something in these last few seconds? No. No, they can't. Gets the answer right <laughs> away. Mandem, two. Soccer Slayers, two. We have about a four or five minute break for halftime. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with what should be a very entertaining second half. See you on the other end of the break. Welcome back to the Oregon State University Intramural Co-Rex Soccer Tournament. 
we have a tied game here between Mandem FC and the Soccer Slayers. Ben, tell me what you saw in that first half. Well, in that first half, you know, I think we got to give a lot of credit. <laughs> got to give a lot of credit to Mandem because they fell behind one nil very early on. Come back, took a two one lead before Soccer Slayers evened it up. But we've seen a pretty com very competitive game. And Soccer Slayers got to be feeling it a little bit the fatigue playing back to back games. But I think they're up to the challenge. Yeah, credit to them. They've really been pushing through. They've been do going through a lot of substitutions. It seems like they're managing this schedule really well, even though it may not have worked out in their favor. <laughs> That's for sure, and having to play back-to-back. -back, and this is their final half, as uh, we have a bit of a premature start there. I'm going to have to restart my timer. Ready. <laughs> so it's a 2-2 game. Great to see both of these teams having a lot of fun out there on the, <laughs> on the court. <laughs> Certainly have some on personalities, and I like to see it. There's a track start from one of the players on the Soccer Slayers. It's a good ball in the middle here, and Manum's got a chance right away, but it's going to be deflected. And now here come the Slayers the other way. Dispossessed. Going to have a right-footed goat, and now he's going to try and give it off. Drop pass, deflection into the hands of their keeper. He's able to get down on that one. And that's uh, just a kick to the stratosphere. Going to stay yep. in play somehow. That, oh, have they kept it in? Nope. They're shooting for height. <laughs> <It wasn't laughs> who, who can kick the ball the highest? I think he might have been trying to hit the ceiling there, to be quite honest. <laughs> and he got darn near close to <laughs> hitting the roof of this building. Here's Mandem with it now. And doesn't want to let this one go all the way through, so she is going to track it down. And that's a not a good ball to give away. And somebody's lost a shoe, and she has to <laughs> dodge the ball there. Gets a laugh out of Izzy. Oh, my goodness. There have been some amazing moments today here at I Am Sports. Never a dull wouldn't moment. Wouldn't want it any other way. With competitive still, fun and competitive, I am sports. Oh, definitely not. I think our highlights reel is going to be great. We bet we need to make one. We see it. I'm all for it because you see the comical moments, but you also see both these te both teams competing very hard. So it's a combination of the fun and the competition here because we're seeing some really good soccer. Man, I'm going to try and bring it up in the back. A lot of passes from Manum. As I said, there's a 1-2 back, and it's kicked right into him. He's gonna, they're going to try to keep it. She's going to try and bring it down for Manum, playing it back to the man who was just down a minute ago, and that's a turnover. He's going to try and slow him down. There's a shot just over the bar. A lot of action. Yeah, that was a really fast turnover from going from one, from one goal <coughs> to the other, making the most out of this whole field. So keep in mind, it's a 2-2 game right now. If... It does, <laughs> and there's some yelling going on right now. I don't know if there's arguing of who's going to take a corner kick. Let's see if um, soccer slayers can figure it out. But I was going to say, if it is tied at the end of this half, we go to a penalty shootout. Could be interesting. One, two, and that's going to go out for the 29,000th corner kick of the game. Gotta love it. Keeper tracks it down. Most teams are playing short on the corners because with this uh, field this small, you don't want to risk losing possession. So they try and build it up from the back rather than just kick it deep. Yeah, that's a really interesting. Dangerous drop. Tried to keep it back in. The soccer slayers play actually fell down there. 3-10 gone in the second half between Mandem FC and the Soccer Slayers, second g game of our broadcast coverage. First game saw two goals defeat the Soccer Slayers 4-1. to one. Mandem on the front foot here. Can't quite get that one through. Can she win a corner? And Ooh. it's a very physical play. That was a handball. I think you're right, Izzy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Not going to get called. No. We only have Should two referees. That. Drift over their ankles there, too. This game is getting a lot more physical. Absolutely. Second half, tie game. Things are heating up. Ball in. Can it be controlled? And we, we've seen so many times. Just nobody can control the ball. You have so little space. Good players out here, but just not enough room. 
to control anything. That's a good initial save, oh. and oh no, he has let it go through. It's a goalkeeping howler, as they would say. 3-2 Soccer Slayers back in front. That's tough, Izzy. That's going to hurt. I mean, he had control, lost control, and now they're down by one. It's one that I think usually he would save. He's been solid so far today up until that moment. And a win today, you know, despite the fact that it impacts. And they're subbing him out as keepers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you're done. <laughs> so, no mercy policy <laughs> for... Mandem FC. That is brutal. <laughs> they got someone new. They got someone new, and he's in a grey shirt. Oh, at least he's got a shirt that's going to exactly. make sense a little bit. The keeper's still stretching out while play starts. He finally looks up. Five minutes gone. So after a goalkeeping error, we have a goalkeeping replacement for Mandem FC in this 3-2 game. Yeah, Mandem really want to get a win here today because they have lost two, th both of their games. So I think they really need a, a win to get some momentum going here. So this is going to be the first touch of the game for the new keeper. Plays it in short. Uh, uh, Izzy, I think we just got to talk about that's <laughs> That's got to be tough, you know. One, one mistake and then no hesitation, you have a goalkeeping transition. Yeah, I can actually see the goalkeeper who did get ca taken out of the game. Down here on the sideline, he is sitting down, not looking very impressed. It's tough, Izzy, but uh, Mandem, a lot of time left in this game, over 10 minutes, a little bit of confusion right now. It's been really impressive to see the Soccer Slayers just pushing through the pain. They have been playing this. They've been playing games for over an hour now. Certainly have been Quite playing. Impressive. A lot of soccer on this very condensed pitch. That's a lot of movement, a lot of endurance required. And I don't think we have things set straight here. I think there's an issue. It says that an incorrect side <coughs> line throw. Oh, it's no, be it's a, a free penalty. kick for Mandem who find themselves trailing by a goal. It's not an angle for a shot, so I imagine he's going to try and have a look in. Chip, good look, deflection, oh. kept in, might have had a handball. Let's go, Soccer Slayer takes a big tumble. Oh, that's a nice move. She's able to keep possession momentarily. Mandem trying to keep the pressure on. Can they center it? That's a good challenge. Mandem does keep it. Now down the line, just going to win a corner kick. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Izzy, there's a lot of action going on. Mandem desperate to try and tie it up. They are, but the Soccer Slayers are defending really well to give them credit. We just saw one of the players body block the ball out, which did result in the corner kick that we are seeing now. Corner almost goes through. It does go through. Mandem's going to try and keep it. And this blue-shirted fellow has this great ball handling skills. He had it momentarily at his feet there. This should be another corner, and it will be. And a substitution here for Mandem and the Soccer Slayers. Soccer Slayers got to make use of all the substitutions they can because they're going to be tired. Yeah, they are substituting two players right Playing now. Playing back-to-back games. So it's been a back-and-forth match. Soccer Slayers went up 1-0. Mandem took mm -hmm. a 2-1 lead. And the Soccer Slayers on a 2-0 run. They've scored the last couple of goals. Can he just get ahead on that? Now he's going to try and bring it down. Good defending. And he is good with the ball. Cuts it back. Now he's going to try and play it into the middle. Can he turn? He can. Just not a lot of space there. And the Slayer is trying to keep some pressure on themselves. Good challenge, and now they might be on the offensive end. She should have a go here. She does. And uh, first save of the game for the new keeper, Mandem FC. He's going to roll it out to his teammate. Looking to bring it up, looking for some space, trying to find gaps here. Mandem trying to bring it out of the back. Takes a deflection towards the sideline. Can't quite see right there. This is going to be a throw for somebody. It's going to be a throw for Mandem FC. She takes the throw in quickly. There's a good ball. Someone on the end of it. Got to be a goal here. Couldn't quite bring it down. And ouch, that's a tough challenge. That's a foul in the box. 
Man Do we player. have a penalty here? Mandem player that goes down and looks like he honestly, is that hurting. That, that was a pretty rough challenge. I'm not sure if it's deserving of a yellow card. The referees are going to talk about something a little bit here. Going to have a substitution. Hard challenge. And it just seemed a little unnecessary, too, because it seems like the ball was already away. Yeah, that one was pretty aggressive there. And we are going to have... A penalty kick for Mandem FC. Wow. So an opportunity to tie it up. This is a really big moment for Mandem. Running out of time here. Not as big as a regulation goal. We'll keep that in mind. You're certainly not as tall, the same width. And you might want to have to put some power on it here. He does, and it's and a 3-3 three, three game. No mistakes on that penalty. We're tied. Ten minutes gone. Izzy, this has been a lot of fun. That was a very confident kick there. He seemed hurt, <laughs> happened <laughs> to get up and do a really good kick. I was so going to say, just put some power on it right here. Yeah. In field of this size, and he certainly did that. Usually penalty kicks are taken from 12 yards. This one's just from 10, and that might not sound like a bunch of a difference, but it really it that those those six feet make a pretty big difference, and he just powered that one right past the keeper. So yeah. that was the first penalty we've seen on the afternoon. That was. I was expecting to see a few more, considering there's been a few A lot of uh, attacking fouls challenges. And, and, yes, some very... Mandum keeping the pressure on. There's a shot towards the goal, easily handled. He's going to put it down. Tries to get his own guy out of the way. So Mandem is tied it once again. Back and forth we go, like a seesaw. And the soccer slayers are really going to have to keep pushing through here. Even though they are tired, it's going to come down to these last few minutes. Soccer slayers had possession. They give it away, and that's going to go out for a no. Did he keep it in? It no, he did like not. Go kick. <laughs> 3-3, and we are potentially less than five minutes away from a penalty shootout. Well, that would be pretty fun. It definitely that would, would be. be. That would be really fun. There's going to be an exciting finish either way. So either someone's going to score here, or we're going to do it in penalties. Trying to find a little bit of space. Can he get his preferred right foot a shot off here? He just scored the penalty. Going to have a go. Oh. Blocked hard. That was a huge good block. And a good save from the... Mandem goalie. Bring it through the back. A little dangerous there, but he's able to get it away. Shot towards the goal. Oh, oh good save off of a strong strike. <laughs> Got to give credit there. His gloves probably helped him out there. He's glad he has them. Huge save. Turn. Can the Slayers have a go here on offense? 12 minutes gone. Oh. oh, she juked her out of her shoes. Mandem is able to recover. It's going to be a throw in for Mandem FC. <coughs> Taken quickly. Oh, that's a great yeah. build up, and Mandem cannot quite make it count. Good adjustment Getting from the keeper. Play. And now here come the soccer slayers. That one's well wide. Going to be a goal kick. For Mandem mm. FC, 3-3 three, three game. So very competitive here in our second game of our broadcast coverage between Mandem FC and the Soccer Slayers. Yeah, and both teams looking to really make the most out of these last few minutes here. We've seen some quick <coughs> plays. Mandem winless so far, and then Soccer Slayers winless today. They're 1-1 one and one so far in this tournament, playing their second game in a row. Really impressive that they've been able to keep up. The left-footed strike is going to go wide. But really impressed with the soccer slayers still showing that energy. You can tell they're getting a little gassed out there and probably just want to see this one go into penalties or possibly a strategy, strategical thinking point. Yeah, let's see if they can make something out of this play here. That one's going to be into the air, chested down by a soccer slayer. It's going to go over to Mandem. He tries to put it out wide. He will. Taken by Mandem. Oh, she's able to get through a crowd. Now she's going to have a look Shut here. Up. It's in. Mandum takes a 4-3 lead. That is huge. And look at the celebration there. Great to see. And the soccer slayers have collapsed a little bit here. Mandum 
and I'm not quite sure what that was. <laughs> be quite honest with you, Izzy. 14 minutes gone, so the soccer slayers might uh, be out of luck here. Yes, uh, they're really going to need to make something happen, and they're going to need to make it happen <coughs> quick. Goalkeeper is getting talked to by the official, I believe, for time warning, which <laughs> is probably <laughs> valid. Just two minutes left. Soccer Slayers intercept. They need to make something happen Ooh. here. They need to be aggressive. Try and get something into the middle. Oh. Man down, and it's kicked away, coming towards us, and it's grabbed by a player <laughs> on the sideline instead. Oh, it's the other goalie. <laughs> Keep up. Indeed it is. Can help out. And a lot of the teammates are up on the sidelines cheering on their team. A long throw. Mandum's going to control this. And they might just be trying to play possession. One minute. One minute to go. That's out wide. It will be a Soccer Slayer throw. 4-3. Mandum leads the Soccer Slayers, who are in danger of taking their second loss in less than an hour. Oh, here's a good chance in the middle. Here, shot towards the goal is wide. And now Precious Time will tick off the clock. Man, I'm just trying to hang on here. They've come from down 3-2. It's been a great game, but man, you got you got to give them credit for coming back. Yeah, and that and that penalty kick as well, like that really. Yeah, and it didn't seem like a necessary challenge either. The ball was away; he wasn't going to control mm -hmm. it and get a good look. But it was a hard foul, definitely a penalty. It's a good turn as we got 20 seconds left. She is just possessed, and a foul is called, much to the chagrin of the Mandem players. 10 seconds left, so this might be the final kick of the game. There's not a lot of time left. Can the soccer slayers make the most of it? 16 minutes officially up. So last kick here towards the goal. It's in, and it's punched out by the keeper. No time is officially left. That is the game. So Mandum FC pull out a win, Izzy. 4-3, come from behind victory. Yeah, what a great fight from both of the teams there. <laughs> saw a lot of action in these two games, especially that second one, L physical, and we got to give props to the Soccer Slayers for playing that hard in back-to-back -back games. It was great following them today, and we are going to head to a break, and when we come back, we will have an interview with one of the Mandem players. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
week, I am here with Mandem player Jonah Ayres. Congratulations on a win today. This Thank is you. the first win as we, you unfortunately had two losses before this. Mm -hmm. um, how does it feel to have a win today? Oh, it feels great. Uh, like the first two games that we played, we were down five players in the in the field and then uh, six players on the field, and that really gave us a disadvantage for the first two games. But it was really nice playing with seven people in this game, and it showed because uh, we played together well and uh, we won the game. So it was really nice to get a win finally. Yeah, how do you players. think that experience of only playing it five against seven, how did that actually benefit you in this afternoon's match? I'd say uh, we had a we had you had to use a lot of energy on the field if you only have five players because you're playing at seven. So I think that conditioned us a lot to play in the 77 match. So we had a lot of energy to uh, on the field for like winning balls and taking shots and whatnot and mm -hmm. defending. So I'd say like it conditioned us for this game spe specifically, and it uh, we won. So yeah, it showed. Yeah, and the other team got off to an early lead and. You also received a well. You got fouled on though. You got <laughs> they got they fouled you mm -hmm. in the second half there, and you had a penalty shot, which ultimately set you ahead. Oh no, you tied the game. Mm -hmm, How did yeah. that feel, and what was going through your mind? Because you looked like you were hurt when you went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you could say I was a bit expressive on the on the foul there. Um, I did I did feel contact on the foot, uh, but I was you could say I was. There was a little bit of a little bit of acting right there, but there was definitely some contact. But yeah, the penalty was definitely necessary <laughs> for uh, for uh, us to win, and uh, I really got I'm really glad I uh, converted the penalty to a to a goal. And that's really what matters in the end is getting the result. So yeah, and good. another the last day tomorrow. How does this win give you confidence going into tomorrow's matches and tomorrow's setup? Mm. Uh, this game, uh, I think this game is a precursor to what we have going forward in the tournament, and uh, I really feel confident with our team in continuing to win and just having a good time together for the rest of the tournament, whether that's win, loss, or penalty shootout in the end, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just prepared, and uh, I'm excited Kay. for the rest. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and best thank of you. luck in your matches tomorrow. Thank you. That is all from us here at KBVR TV. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Oregon State Intramural Soccer Tournament. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.